The following is a presentation of Rosenet TV, an internet TV channel for the borough of Madison, New Jersey. What is Google doing in Madison, New Jersey? Training volunteer Madison residents on how to create 3D images, that's what. This group of over 20 volunteer Madison residents, which contain a lot of familiar local faces, was learning the software program SketchUp, acquired by Google three years ago to facilitate the construction of 3D models for Google Earth. The training, which took place in one of Madison High School's computer labs, was provided by Google product specialists who flew into town from Boulder, Colorado to show them firsthand how it works. The fact that the reps came out at all puts Madison somewhere on the cutting edge of Google's 3D initiative for Google Earth. Madison is only the second community in the United States to develop a 3D model as a volunteer community-based initiative. For Google reps, Madison's approach represents an exciting new step in the development of the 3D project. We'd love to see other towns uh, uh, continue to, uh, to do these types of things. Uh, Google clearly cannot uh, create a, a 3D mirror uh, image of the entire world uh, by itself. I mean, as, as, as you know, the, the, despite the resources that we have as a company, it just can't happen. And so, you know, we're, we're going to continue to focus on uh, the primary urban uh, centers around the world, but we really need, in fact, uh, to uh, encourage communities and to work with communities to model their their own downtown and to take the initiative to do that. We're really excited about it because it lets the experts, which are the local population, it lets them do their own buildings and they can create them with much better detail, much better knowledge, and it also creates kind of a sense of community because they're building their virtual city. The project was brought to life by Teddy Bogdanski, a 16-year-old Madison High School student. He got the idea from Mayor Mariana Holden, who learned of Google's 3D initiative while at a convention in Philadelphia. Teddy decided to use it as an Eagle Scout project, a fact that intrigued Google reps. One of the things that I, I found exciting about this project in particular was that it was being uh, led by an Eagle Scout. Uh, you know, in the past I've been contacted mostly by uh, sort of general enthusiasts or architects, uh, but I'd never been contacted by an Eagle Scout before, and so I was intrigued by that. Uh, and I thought, wow, this is really interesting, and I wonder if there's a way for uh, Eagle Scouts elsewhere uh, to, uh, to take on such an effort. So uh, that was one of my, my, my curiosities in actually attending this event myself. According to Teddy, the project was going to be modest in scope at first, but soon the plan grew bigger. Um, originally the project scope was only supposed to be Waverly Place area, only the, those 12 buildings down there, um, but we decided to expand the scope to most of the downtown, um, so I needed more volunteers and I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. Mayor Mariana Holden, one of the workshop participants, sees many benefits to having Madison available on Google Earth in 3D. It's an exciting process and it's got a lot of possibility. Uh, you can see it's a great economic development tool. Uh, it's something to sell in town on tourism, but also if you're thinking of opening a business here, you want to see what your sign's going to look on your building and fly right into the town, around the town. And then the option of connecting to business websites, I think it will really uh, be a big positive fact. The big challenge is that as cool as this software is, it still isn't all that easy to learn. I think that there's a real difference between what we tell people is easy and what really is easy. And I think it's important that we set people's expectations properly. SketchUp is the easiest 3D modeling, 3D modeling product out there. Um, that doesn't mean it's easy. There's a big difference, right? <laughs> Driving a car is easy once you know how to do it. You know, uh, So it's sort of the same thing. It even seems to be stumping some of Madison's local stars. And how, how you doing? Not too well. <laughs> I'm doing better at home. <laughs> if I can write it down on a piece of paper and follow the there direction, I'll get it. But the software is very cool. Workshop participants watched in amazement as Google 3D specialist Craig D'Andrea constructed a 3D representation of a small historic building outside Boulder as a demonstration. The results were indeed impressive. Although the Google reps had a lot to offer the new volunteer modelers, it turns out that Madison was also teaching Google a thing or two about encouraging 3D modeling as a community-based initiative. Um, I'm here actually to find out what motivated these folks to do it in the first place. I think that as this technology becomes more ubiquitous, as more and more people around the country are doing this, more and more groups like this are going to want to do it. And so the, the good people of Madison um, have agreed to be our willing guinea pigs in figuring out exactly what the what the easy parts are and what the pain points are so that we can move forward and do this in a in a really scalable way in a way that sort of uh, more people can do quickly for other communities around the world that want to get this done 
For more information about the Madison Google Initiative, contact Madison's downtown manager, Jim Burnett, by going on www.rosenet.org. You have been watching a presentation of Rosenet TV, an internet TV channel for the borough of Madison, New Jersey. Rosenet TV is a private enterprise operated independently of the municipal government of the borough of Madison, New Jersey. Any views expressed herein are solely the views of Rosenet TV and do not represent the views of the municipal government of the borough of Madison.